let me introduce you to a Linux distro that looks like Windows 11 and Windows 10. Firstly, this operating system is called or also known as Windows Ubuntu and it has it has all the appearance and functionality of Microsoft Windows, including the Microsoft Copilot, Microsoft Edge, OneDrive, PowerShell, Teams, Widget, and more. Aside from that, if you are trying to install this OS inside your physical computer, it does not require any TPM, secure board, or any other hardware requirements. This open system is built upon Ubuntu, and they are saying that it is very fast, secure, very efficient system. We will be testing that inside this video uh, inside the virtual machine. However, they are also claiming that you are able to run any Microsoft Windows application and the Android and Linux apps using Ubuntu. They are calling the Windows 11, Windows Ubuntu Plasma and the Windows 10, they are calling it Windows 11, uh, sorry, Windows Ubuntu 11 Plasma. There are two versions of this operating system available currently, a free edition and a professional key. Professional is where you have to pay $35 for a single license. However, if you need multiple, you have to multiply the 35. However, the free edition is currently available in their official website and uh, they are based on the Ubuntu LTS 11.4. They are calling it Windows Ubuntu 11.4.4 LTS. Okay. What are the system requirements to install and test the uh, Windows 11 or Windows Ubuntu? So firstly, the operating system must be 2 GHz dual core processor or a higher version is recommended. Aside from that, 2 GB of RAM is recommend, uh, required and then they are recommending 4 GB. Aside from that, 25 GB of storage is also recommended. and required sorry and then they are recommending ssd aside from that internet is required if you are trying to install the os inside a physical computer you will need at least an rgb of usb flash drive because the main uh, operating system in iso file is around 4.25 gb so an rgb is definitely required and you can also try it inside a virtual machine if you are comfortable with as i am going to try it inside virtual box so the good example of virtual machine or virtual box and then VMware workstation player they are good to go they have a very good and easy interface where you can use it easily aside from that if you are trying to install the Windows or Ubuntu Cinnamon uh, they are also required 2 GB uh, 2 gigahertz of processor 1 GB of RAM and then they are saying that 2 GB is recommended 25 GB of storage and the same details or the same hardware requirements as the uh, windows 11 so aside from that there is the uh, red send and the other versions are also available that you can check in their official website so i have already installed the operating system inside virtual box uh, let me go ahead and launch it and show the to you that how this operating system is Currently, I am available in the login section of Windows Ubuntu 11. So as you can see, this is the login page and uh, it is not quite similar to the Windows 11. So as you can see, here is the name, the date, and then uh, the username, and then the password, and the login, and the power options, and finally a virtual keyboard if you need. Anyway, for now, let me go ahead and press uh, or enter the password and login into the operating system. And let's go ahead and take a look how it is. Okay, as you can see, the wallpaper is similar to the Windows 11 and then the theme, everything good, uh, good, everything looks similar to the Windows 11. So first, let's go ahead and take a look at the right click option. If you go ahead and take a look, okay, they are almost similar to the Windows 11. Uh, let me make it side by side and compare it with the Windows 11 that currently we have and take a look at how it is i hope you are able to see it okay firstly if you have to right click in windows 11 so you can see these are the differences in windows 11 you are calling view sort refresh undo new display settings and other details 
so these are the official differences that you can see them yourself and uh, the small changes that they have added there so other than that if you simply go ahead and click edit uh, enter edit mode it is an option where you can simply just go ahead minimize or customize the whole uh, taskbar directly from here you can add widget remove it or other stuff directly from here so let me go ahead and remove that aside from that if i have to simply go ahead and take a look at the start menu of the windows ubuntu you can have a look here that the start menu is almost similar to the windows 11 there is the pin section and then the recommended section as you can have a look here so uh, they are calling the explorer the dolphin and then there is the android option the notepad they're calling note so simple uh, and simply they have added the windows application the linux applications as they are available so aside from that if you simply go ahead into all apps so you can see these are all available one other thing that i noticed inside ubuntu it is not working and windows 11 inside of it it is completely working so if i have to click in windows 11 go to all apps if i have to simply click on b here you can see these are the letters a b c and other so if i have to simply click on it it is going to bring these uh alphabetical order everything if you simply click on any of them it's going to take to the specific section however inside of the uh, windows ubuntu it is not working at all so if you click on it it's just simply hiding the start menu nothing else okay let's go ahead and take a look at the windows ubuntu settings so go ahead open the start menu and simply open the system settings and aside from that i'm going to open the settings inside windows 11 too so as you can see the ubuntu windows 11 ubuntu is very slow it is not opening the uh, settings and it is taking quite a lot of a lot of time even though uh, 4 gb of ram at least 100 gb of storage and then it is uh, a laptop with core i5 gen 7 which is more than 2 gigahertz of processor it has so i don't know why it is really taking its time to open the settings so let me go ahead and try it again so if you can uh, take a look here at the settings uh, side by side from windows and then the windows ubuntu you can see the differences so in the left panel everything is good to go so you can see there is system bluetooth network personalization and the same are available inside of the windows ubuntu so there is no change inside the main mainly categorized section of the settings inside windows ubuntu however if you go ahead into detailing uh, of those open system you will notice that there are minor changes uh, based on the open system firstly it is very slow i don't know why I have no idea why, but it is very slow. So in general, you can go ahead in detailing of what settings are included and what are not included. However, the main thing that I am really looking inside Windows Ubuntu, I cannot find it, the snip layout. So let me show you what do I mean. So in Windows 11, when you go ahead and take uh, your cursor inside the uh, minimize section, you will notice that maximize section you will notice the snip layouts are showing itself inside and you can simply use it however inside uh, windows ubuntu you cannot see any of such kind so go ahead and take a look it is not there however manually if you drag the uh, screen somewhere it is going to work so as you can see this is like that it is not even showing you the place where should you place it or not just you have to just simply drag it and then it's going to show itself there nothing else so the snip layouts is not there similar to windows 11 uh, if you go ahead and take a look at the taskbar you will notice the task view you will notice the task view is available there so by default similar to windows it's showing you the four by default screen so in windows 11 i have already uh, hidden that it is not showing however it is there okay the copilot and the microsoft edge also uh, before opening the copilot here we can have a look here in microsoft uh, sorry in windows ubuntu they have added instead of the microsoft store the discover it is the same software downloader uh, or app store inside ubuntu and now they have simply renamed that to 
discover you can just go ahead and download application from there uh, but let me warn you that uh, it is going to take a while since the upgrade system is really slow to download however uh, i have no idea how it the performance of this operating system inside an actual computer is however inside virtual box it is not quite good as you can see so as you can see copilot is installed already, already here it is good to go and then there is the uh, microsoft team the file explorer which they are calling dolphin and then microsoft edge and the uh, discover and onedrive and other applications are available also the task view or the sorry the system icons you can see that there are minor little changes that you can have a look here okay the most important thing let's go ahead and take a look installing a windows application inside these operating system is it able to handle that or no so i have already downloaded uh notepad plus plus and you can see it is available here it is going towards similar to windows or no let's go ahead and check it out so just double click on the setup okay so as you can see uh, it is not launching the application let me go ahead and open it again okay nothing in the meantime let me go ahead and launch the uh, system monitor or you can call uh, call it the alternative of the task manager from where you can see which application or which processes are currently running there so anyway it is not launching the uh, installer for windows i have tried it several times so let me tell you the final word verdict firstly the windows ubuntu is not a windows killer and if you are switching from a microsoft environment into a linux uh, if your system is old then i do not recommending this application this software well because a better alternative of windows ubuntu is available and it is called zorin os and they they are also providing the zorin os core that is free and microsoft uh, applications the at least the alternative application of microsoft is installed there and you can always use the vine application to install a windows software a review of that is available in my channel you can just go ahead and take a look at that also again if you are coming from windows for every little task you will need internet for instance as you can see in the below it has uh, that red mark is saying that updates or security updates are available you have to simply run it and update so instead of trying the windows ubuntu or the zorin os if you are not comfortable with any of them i suggest you using the uh, linux mint i'm talking about linux mint you have to try that that is far more better than that is we really much simple than using this application why i am not recommending these uh windows ubuntu to everyone because uh do you know that microsoft edge the copilot and other windows applications are really heavy and they are really using a lot of ram or resources of your computer so they have simply built that with these linux distro where almost every time every linux that i have used they are really smooth working however with these it is not really smooth it is really heavy and for whatever reason it is not uh, working properly so in the system monitor you can have a look here uh, it is showing the cpu usage around uh, 70 to between 50 to 70 percent and ram and other details you can go ahead and take a look those details here so in my opinion it is not a good idea if you want to switch uh, from windows ecosystem to the linux permanently because it is not a good idea and a good solution if you are switching it so let me know your thoughts and suggestion about these operating system or if you want to try it so have a nice day for now goodbye and i'll meet you guys in the next video